Alright. Start off with your name and the movie you're in. My name is Wayne W. Johnson and I am in this film, Transformation. As you can see, this is me right here. It looks just like me. You can tell? Uh, I, don't, I don't have my wig on though, so that's why. My wig? I definitely need my wig. I always need my wig. I lose half my superpowers without my wig. <laughs> so how did this project find you? Wow. Um, the reason why I say wow is because this started back in 2012. <laughs> so it's, I'm, I'm trying to dig back into my memory here. Um, I've known Brian, actually, um, I met Brian in the very first uh, film, basically, that I was in called Rise Up and Fall. No, boy, <laughs> Ron's going to kill me for that. It's Miss Cannibal Holocaust, okay? And Miss Cannibal Holocaust, yeah, not Cannibal Holocaust, just Miss. So it's, it's a SRS Cinema uh, LLC production, and it's directed by Ron Bonk, who is floating around here somewhere. So that's why he's going to kill me later on when I say that about that. But basically what happened was... Um, I was, uh, it was the first movie I was in, and I was a member of a gang who, uh, we kind of like gang bang, I guess, just to, is this PG-13 or R? Oh, keep going. Keep going, R? Okay. We, 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 we basically rape um, this woman who uh, is played by Nicola Fiora, and it's funny because I actually get to act with her again in a movie that I was later in called Night of Something Strange. Uh, so that, that was kind of weird though with that thing, but one of the members of the gang was Brian. And also, Jack Gagaro was in that film as well. And uh, I met Jack and Brian there. And Brian was like, you know, would you like to be in my film Rise Up and Fall? So I ended up being in that. And at the time, I was more centered towards music with my band, Caroline Blue. Uh, but what happened was I started getting more and more into acting. And Jack was actually very instrumental with that because he was always very encouraging to me. He was like, man, what? You got great stage presence. You, you know, you got this uh, kind of like almost like a natural ability. So you know, maybe you should get a little more serious about acting and stuff. So that was always in my head when I was going to get more serious about acting. So I, I have a unpayable debt to Jack in regards to that because that was very encouraging right off, right off from the start. But then from there, we ended up, I got it brought into Rise Up and Fall, which was a Brian's movie. So we did that. And then shortly after that, his next film he started working on was Transformation. And he brought me aboard on that as one of the main cast, I guess you could say. I, I don't even know if, I mean, tonight's the premiere and I still can't say what I do in the movie. <laughs> I gotta wait, you know, so it's like, maybe afterwards I can do that, but uh, I just have some glowing eyes, so maybe that'll be an indication about it, so. Without um, spoiling, what's the movie about? That's a good question, too, because Brian is notorious for only giving sections of his script to actors like their parts he doesn't give like the entire script it is about a serial killer i do know that it's a horror movie but it's not a typical horror movie like that it's a little more realistic it's more it's not so dramatized from what i remember um because uh, i've only was in bits and pieces of it so i uh you'll see there is a in having saying realistic when you see my character you'll be like mm. <laughs> but it's a it's a cool element in there okay, um okay. you know but uh you know, it, it is, uh, I, I'm kind of in the dark throughout the whole movie as everybody else, so I, and that's kind of the fun for it, you know, because it's going to be a surprise to me, too. What is with you and horror, and horror roles? Uh, well, they can't find an ugly guy, so they need me. <laughs> uh, you are a lot of horror, man. Yeah, it's, uh, <coughs> I guess it's part of it is the hair, the height, um, intensity, uh, I don't know, uh, I, it, that would be a better question for people that I've worked with, who like casting directors and stuff. Like, why, why did you cast him as this? Or even ask Brian, ask why he, he puts me in that kind of a role. I mean, I have played good guys before. I, I play like uh, Ensign Walking Bear in a, in a couple of different Star Trek fan films, and that's about as pure as you can get. You know, I'm, I mean, you want to talk about? It. I mean, the last thing I just did with uh, it was with the Federation files out in Arkansas, and there's no like fights. There's no. It's all story driven. I mean, there's. I think the the most intense thing I did was uh, I was I was sleeping and I had a nightmare. That's about the most intense that happened in there, you know. So it was all story driven. So, but yeah, I, I'm the horror guy, I guess. Uh, they, you know, they use me as bad guys, and that's cool. I mean, as long as they're, they're kind of different, they're not a repeat of an exact duplicate of what I've done before. That's cool. What would you say if someone wants to get an act? Well. Uh, a couple of things. Number one, 
Uh, put up your armor. And what I mean by that is you have to be able to take criticism. I mean, granted, if it, you know, you always want to listen to constructive criticism. You disregard destructive criticism. But having said that, the choice is up to you whether you want to follow that criticism or not. But it's going to happen. People out of the blue are going to criticize your work. And if you can't take that type of criticism or just somebody coming up to you and saying, you suck, or you can't do this or that, if you can't take that, you're not going to be around long. Um, you want to make sure that you're a team player. You want to make sure that you do the best, no matter what type of production is. I mean, if I'm playing a corpse, I'm going to be the best damn corpse you're going to see on there, okay? I'm not going to sit there and if you want to, do, if you want to coast, take up sailing, okay? It's something where you definitely have to give 100% and it'll show. And if you're somebody who's reliable, you, you know, it, easy to work with, um, and that's a big factor because a lot of times when they're casting, sometimes it might be with two people that are equally talented. Then it boils down to, well, who can I work with? Okay? Uh, and that's a big factor. Some people, if they're divas, if they got attitudes, if they're legends in their own mind, it's going to be harder and harder because these guys all talk amongst each other. All the actors, all that stuff, so they know who to talk to. It's going to be a little harder and harder. Um, you also want to prepare. It, it, you know, you hear the stories of overnight success and everything like that. Um, that those are the exceptions. Uh, just prepare for the long haul because there's going to be a lot of rejection. There's going to be a lot of times where you're going to be wondering, what the hell are you doing? You know, where's my money? Because I don't have any money here. I'm totally dead broke, and I'm still going for it. So you know, you got to have that drive. You have to have it inside of you, not from the outside. It has to be inside because outside motivation disappears. It's what's inside. And get wise on the business and try to network as much as possible. Try to connect with people as much as possible because that's going to help you advance the ladder probably more than anything else. There's a lot more, but uh, we don't have another half hour because uh, they'll be like, Wayne, you know, we got to start the film now. <laughs> you know, so. um, okay. Um, one last question. What's your Only one more? One more. Oh, fuck. oh, we've been going a while, dude. Yeah? Uh, seven minutes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hello. What would you like to say to Brian and everybody who worked on the set? What would you like? To, what was your message to everyone who worked on the film? I want to say thank you very much for having me. It was a pleasure working with each and every one of you, and I hope to work with you again on future projects. You know, over and over and over again, and hopefully we'll even get paid. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, one last thing. Tell us who you are again, and tell us the movie. My name is. Um, you really want me to tell you who I am again? I'm trying to remember who I am again. Now, <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, my name is Wayne W. John. You can edit that out. No, no, keep <laughs> it. Oh, you're going to keep it? Keep okay. Now everyone's going to say I'm egotistical, uh, <laughs> like they don't already. Um, my name is Wayne W. Johnson, and this is for the movie Transformation. Starring, this is supposed to be me. It was supposed to be Brian, I guess, unless, we, unless it's a secret. And of course, the one and only Jack Agarl, who unfortunately could not be here with us tonight to see the final project of this. Jack, we miss you and love you. Wish you were here. <laughs>